Tobago, one of the most beautiful travel destinations in the world, is slowly but surely becoming synonymous with more than tourism, the mainstay of the local economy. Thanks to the Tobago Gas Technology Conference hosted by the University of Trinidad and Tobago, the island has become an annual destination for students, researchers, technocrats and professionals involved in the study, exploration, extraction and exploitation of natural gas resources locally and internationally. Now in its third year, the Tobago Gas Technology Conference provides a platform for the presentation and discussion of the latest research and development in state-of-the-art technologies employed in the energy industry. Participants at this year's conference were warmly welcomed by the Chief Secretary of the Tobago House of Assembly, who noted the growing importance of Tobago in relation to Trinidad and Tobago's energy industry. In recent times, Tobago has become more involved in the energy sector. We all are aware of the deep water drilling program in Block 22, the seismic survey that was done recently, and the prospective bids for other blocks to the north of Tobago. And I'm saying that uh, as you all respond to the obvious challenges, it will be of importance to us how these challenges are in fact surmounted and how we in Tobago could afford to benefit. So basically what is done here and the success of your experiments and so on are going to benefit us financially and of course in relationship to ability to uh, negotiate. Indeed, against the backdrop of challenges currently confronting the global energy industry, including growing demand and volatile prices, this year's conference was very aptly themed Next Generation Energy Technologies, with a focus on technological solutions to resolving current and future challenges, particularly from a Trinidad and Tobago and Caribbean standpoint. The genesis of this initiative, Next Generation Energy Technologies, stems from UTT's mandate from our main sponsor, the Government of the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago. This mandate means that UTT's Education Trust must involve state-of-the-art academic programs, including research and development activities, in areas of strategic interest to Trinidad and Tobago. This relationship with industry is quite deliberate since UTT's underlying philosophy is to create ready-to-work graduates for industry and the university programs must be locally relevant. Conference participants were reminded of the crucial importance attached by the government of the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago to the UTT as a provider of research into specific areas of strategic interest. In this context, it has played an integral role in the development of ideas for areas in which to conduct research and development at the UTT through its cooperation with the National Gas Institute of the Americas, indicating an interest in certain specific areas of research. We have, for example, indicated an interest in methane hydrates, renewable energy, alternative and reduction of harmful emissions. This year's conference was attended by delegates from the United States, Canada, Venezuela, the United Kingdom, Norway, Belgium, Algeria, Iran, Kuwait, India and Malaysia. It was preceded by two short courses delivered by leading world experts. The first on bioprocesses as a possible alternative to petrochemical processes and the second an introduction to geologic carbon dioxide sequestration. Over the next three days the conference covered various issues including exploration and production, new gas markets, renewable energy, environmental technology solutions and energy economics. There were also final discussions on the development of energy skills in Trinidad and Tobago 
and an energy policy for the Caribbean region. The Tobago Gas Technology Conference, TGTC, also serves to highlight the key role being played by the University of Trinidad and Tobago to quote, discover and develop entrepreneurs, commercialize research and development for enhancement of the quality of life of all individuals, families, and communities of the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago and the Caribbean. UTT should be an organization that essentially generates intellectual property if it's going to, to capture its mission. Because remember the, the vision set out at the outset is really to be in the vanguard of creation of niche, niche technologies of key importance to the nation. And that can only happen if the institution transforms itself from a teaching one to an R&D one. To this end, the importance of the UTT's Natural Gas Institute of the Americas was emphasized. NGIA, as it is called, is leading the thrust towards natural gas-related research and expertise. NGIA is doing its part in transforming the knowledge base of the nation's economy. The University of Trinidad and Tobago has established the Natural Gas Institute of the Americas, which really is the research arm of UTT with regard to energy and in particular natural gas. Trinidad and Tobago has a long history in energy. In fact, this year marks 100 years of commercial hydrocarbon production. However, much of the expertise and technology in certain key areas still comes from abroad. In order to help solve this problem and to help develop what is called the future knowledge-based economy, NGIA will develop technologies and expertise that will help build the economy of Trinidad and Tobago in the future. We have four research groups, an upstream technologies group, a midstream and downstream group, one on energy economics and one on energy and the environment. And this will be expanded in the near future. The approach of NGIA is to form alliances with other major R&D centers worldwide. We have one with the University of Texas at Austin and we also have an alliance with Methanol Holdings Trinidad Limited and we are forming other alliances as well. We are working on one with the Technical University of Petronas in Malaysia. Given the focus on research as a vital development component, prizes were awarded for the best poster and paper presentations by graduate and undergraduate students of UTT. The Tobago Gas Technology Conference 2008 was a resounding success for all concerned. The conference is now a permanent fixture on the UTT's academic calendar thanks to the hard work of dedicated organizers and to numerous sponsors who have stepped forward to support a very worthy cause. In 2009, the Tobago Gas Technology Conference promises to be even bigger and better with more participants contributing to our ever-growing search for technological solutions that will primarily bring benefit to Trinidad and Tobago. See you then.